Have you ever gone to make yourself a sandwich and then you pull out a slice of bread to see that fuzzy signs of mold growing all over it? It can be super annoying, right? And the same thing can happen with cheese, fruits, and vegetables, and it just seems to come out of nowhere. Even food that is sealed safe in its packaging doesn't really seem safe from becoming a science experiment overnight. And some foods start getting moldy faster than others. But why does it start growing in the first place? And more importantly, where does mold even come from? Let's find out. First off, what even is mold? Well, mold is actually a type of fungus and there are thousands of different kinds of it. And it's actually all around us. They're an opportunistic type of fungus that just like mushrooms don't use photosynthesis and instead actually get their energy from consuming matter. Uh, so when you see mold, most of the time you actually see the damage that it's causing, like rotting floorboards falling apart or fruit getting squishy. But uh, mold, also like mushrooms, reproduces with spores, and after growing enough, they start blasting those spores around, helping to spread new mold colonies. They are small and can actually travel pretty far distances as well. Mold is all around us, and it's for that reason it's so important for us to manage it, because mold is also really harmful to human beings, causing a ton of health issues, especially respiratory issues. That's why it's so important to store food properly in a cool, dry space, like uh, your pantry or refrigerator. But in a world of sealed packaging and cleaning products, how does it still thrive, and how does it get into that sealed bag of bread? Well, do you remember when I said that mold is all around us and that it sends out millions of spores? Well, these spores are microscopic and not visible to the human eye. So when you actually see mold, it's because there are so many microscopic spores growing together that you can actually see it. And that's why it's so important to throw out food that even has a little bit of mold on it because mold is like an iceberg in that most of it is actually beneath the surface. And just like mushrooms, they can have long roots or mycelium that spread through a piece of bread before you can visibly see the mold. And those big piles on the surface are where the spores come from. And when they get big enough or get moved around too much, the mold will release all of those spores similar to the way a mushroom spreads its spores. All mold needs is a single spore to get into contact with something. It doesn't have to be food either because mold can actually stay dormant for months without activating. If it lands on a wall, for example, it might just sit there waiting for a breeze or to be disturbed by a person, or it could suddenly be triggered to grow by a buildup of moisture. So mold, as it turns out, is actually in everything. So the mold that grew on that loaf of bread could have been sitting dormant since it left the factory or a spore could have flown in when you open the package at your home. The most a human could do uh, is to come up with creative ways to store food in order to slow down the spread of that mold so that the food that we eat stays fresh. All a refrigerator does is slow down the spread and growth of that mold. Humans have been working on this issue long before the invention of the refrigerator. Dried meats, for example, like jerky, starve the mold of the moisture that it needs to grow, and canned foods steal the oxygen a mold needs to thrive, and pickling preserves food in an acidic environment that slows down the growth as well. I've actually tried pickling my own veggies to make them last longer, and I didn't even realize at the time that I was preventing the mold. I just wanted to pickle some peppers. You might be wondering if all mold is bad for you, and it's a pretty good question. And even though most mold is a sign of decomposing or rotting food, there are a very small few that are actually safe to consume. So penicillium, for example, is actually used to make cheese, like blue cheese, brie, or gorgonzola. And that's because penicillium doesn't have the same toxic materials as most other molds. So in conclusion, mold is actually everywhere. It's part of the air that we breathe. It lives inside most foodstuffs, but it isn't until food starts to decompose that the natural balance gets upset, allowing mold to kind of grow and overpower the factors that kept it dormant in the first place. In the same way that bacteria in our bodies doesn't just break us down until after we die. Mold spores 
are super hardy and just like mushrooms send those spores out to be carried by the wind in the air waiting for days months sometimes even years for the right conditions so the mold in your bread is just part of nature either the spores got in at the factory or they got in when you open the bag in your kitchen all it takes is for something to be exposed to the air then stored in the wrong kind of environment and boom you've got mold everywhere if you enjoyed this video and wondered the same thing, please like and subscribe for more. If you have any strange thoughts or questions that you want the answers to, uh, leave them in the comments down below. And until next time, I'm Kazi. Don't eat moldy bread. It's really not good for you. And thank you for watching. Peace out.